Such a funky bass line. Uh, this song is actually from a, a guy named Roy Ayers or Ayers. I'm not exactly sure how to say his name. Uh, from 1977, really, really funky era. Uh, album called Lifeline. I think the song is called Runaway. So I wanted to show you guys this bass line because of the simplicity of it. Also, at the same time, it's a little busy, but it's a nice fine line in between those two. And it's right in the middle where I like it. So I'm gonna show you guys this bass line. It just stuck out to me. Never heard this song before ever popped up on my song list, songs just started playing. I love the song, bass line stick out to me, does not move the entire song. So let's break down this bass line. So with this bass line, the syncopation actually makes it really, really interesting. The one, two, three. So that part right there alone. So let's figure out what key we're in first. So E flat minor, we're starting on the one. It starts on the one, the tonic, the E flat. Okay, so then we're gonna play, I'm gonna say chord tones or scale degrees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we're using a natural minor scale. So you can create this any way you look at it, depending on what the octaves are. Okay, so first we got one, three, two, one. Right, so minor three, two, one. Seven, or minor seven, five, one. So I won't say minor seven because we're in a, we're in a key of E flat minor, so it should automatically be a minor seven or a flat seven or a flat three or a minor three. So I'll just say the number three or seven. Okay, so we got one, three, two, one, seven, five, one, and then we're gonna do seven, the octave lower, five, the octave lower, and then we're gonna to go to the four, the octave lower, okay? So all together, one, three, two, one, seven, five, one, seven, five, four. So that's an easy way to think about it. Just thinking of numbers, all you have to think of is just seven different numbers, like a telephone number. I can even play this, uh, if, I, if I didn't have this outline or I just didn't see it or I just wanted to create it or somebody just said this to me verbally, I can still create that baseline. So one, three, two, one, seven five one seven five four right sounds a little weird but those are the exact notes just depending on what the octaves are same exact thing as so i'm just playing it in different octaves so it may sound a little different but you get the idea of the bass line so that's the importance of knowing scale degrees and knowing numbers or knowing chord tones okay so this bass line is like a fill, right? It sounds like a fill that somebody would play or that a bass player would play inside of a song, but because it does this the entire song, that's the bass line. It becomes the bass line. It's not like he's playing in the song. That's the original bass line for the song. That's not it. But if it were, You see what I mean? Now that becomes a fill. You see what I mean? So because I simplified the bass line and I went up to a fill and I didn't do it the entire time, it just makes it or creates it as a fill. But now to think of these terms, and you can think of this the same way when you're creating bass lines, it's a nice, easy trick to do. I do this all the time. I create my lines or my fills or phrases into bass lines to an extent though. All right, so you have to be careful when you're doing this um, because you can definitely sound busy and you don't, don't wanna be a busy bass player. Uh, but at the same time, there are those busy lines, sort of semi-busy lines that sound amazing and that sound great. But like I said, for this bass line, it's super, super simple and it stuck out to me. I was like, man, that's it, it's, it's driving like it's... I was able to hum that back. I, I, I listened to it in the car. I was able to hum that same tune back when I got home and got to my bass. I didn't have to look up the song again because it had ingrained in my brain so much because it happened throughout the entire song, the entirety of the song. Now, if it only happened one time, it probably would have been harder for me to remember that. 
But because he established it, I don't even know the bass player's name, so forgive me. Um, but whoever it was, it was, he was rocking, he was killing. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, he established that bass line and it created that foundation, that hypnotizing, you know, bass line that makes a great bass line. But anyway, if you guys have any questions about this one, more like this, want me to break down any songs, any suggestions that you have, please put them in the comment section. So make sure you know, so coming out clean, clear and precise, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.